Hello, this is my first unboxing video. I know you've probably seen this product before, but I'm still going to make an unboxing video. Just got it in the mail today. I'm shooting this video on a can. Canon. Did I say Canon? <laughs> a Nikon Cool Pick 6800 Canon. Huh. I have some Canon friends that probably be funny laughing about that. But anyway, uh, I'm using a fluorescent ring light to light this way. Gotta see how the video is gonna come out. I'm not really a video guy, but I do need to do some for my own photo stuff. Bubble, bubble crap. Good for one use only. Then it goes in a landfill somewhere. And now, huh, get my invoice out of there in case something go wrong. Today I got the D750. Now I've heard good and bad reviews about it. Uh, the good reviews I've heard from photographers that I follow and respect and take their reviews, you know, better than I do others and. Other people, warranty, software and manuals. Other people that just been, seems like they just crying. They really crying because it's not a D700 replacement. No, it's not a D700 replacement. Part of the charger, USB cable, battery charge, battery that needs to be charged. I don't put them in until I charge them first. The little cap. I've lost every one I've ever gotten with a camera. <laughs> this seems like a, le a simpler, less complicated box than most. I think get that part out of the way. Whew. I'm so happy to get this thing in. Everything. Because everything. Ain't for everybody. It's looking good. Let's see how it feels in the hand. Yeah, it does feel different. Hmm. 600. Yeah, it feels slimmer. Way slimmer. Take the battery grip off here. I want to compare the two side by side. Some of the complainers are saying, oh, this is just a D800 and a 600 body. No. <laughs> I can tell you by looking at them, they're not the same camera. Hmm. A lot of the controls are in the same spot. 700 had a lot of controls like the D3, but the 700 wasn't the D3. Hmm. Oh, there's a couple little differences here and there, but... Most of the controls are familiar to me where they're at because I went from a D40 to a D90 to a D7000 to a D600 and now I have a 750. So I'm used to these controls. It works out good for me. And I've been happy with my 600. And I know I'm going to be happy with this 7, I mean 750, especially since it has a better autofocus which is a reason enough to upgrade to it by itself. And it'll have better low light performance than my 600? Mmm. Yeah, I need that a lot. That's one of my, I love these user controls. I can program two in if I'm going at, at an event or something and there's different lighting situations in different rooms that I have to go in and out of, or outside, back inside, I can set my lighting for in memory for two of them and use manual on another, and I'll have three settings that I can get to with one or two clicks without whining, you know, about having the ISO control on the top. I really have to set to change my ISO while I'm shooting. And as you see, I keep a light meter for a lot of situations. Um, it's looking good to me. So this is the articulated screen thing. I'm being a little cautious because I'm scared I'm going to break the dang thing. 
<laughs> but it do it feels pretty good. Carbon fiber, huh? You ain't gonna be able to tell by feeling it. But I would think, even though carbon the carbon fiber body would have some plastic in it, I'm quite sure it's still stronger than just straight plastic. Even though these are alloy on top, down the bottom, to the base, or something like that. And then the rest is plastic. I think the carbon fiber would be better than plastic. Well, I'm going to steal a battery out of one of these other cameras, charge the other battery up, and uh, play around with this bad boy. The only thing problem I have with this camera here is I have to wait for the grip. I got it on pre-order. I was like, damn, why did they ship the grips out when they shipped the day and cameras? I couldn't even find one of these in my own town. I had to order it from New York. Luckily, I'm in Philadelphia, so it was like an overnight journey. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to be happy with this. If it lives up to all they've said about it and its specs and everything, I will be satisfied. I probably won't use this tilt screen too much, but I will get a screen protector because I don't like those big plastic things that like came with these. I went and got screen protectors for them, and it doesn't even look, you know, like I put anything on them, and they're good. And they're not that film that you put on cell phones. They're like seven layers of material, one of them being glass itself. And um, they look better without that big milky plastic thing on there, and which ends up getting scratched up and dirt gets caught under it. And then you turn around and you uh, got scratches on your actual screen because dirt got caught between that plastic thing and the screen. So that's a word of advice. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.